Hey Emma. Hello Emma. Have you come for a walk? I'm just past the neighbors. Are we going for walks? Come on, let's go. Let's go for walks. Are we gonna go see Brenda? Are we gonna go see Brenda? Oh, who's a happy wolfie? You gonna see Rocky? Come on, let's go see Rocky. Come on. Look who we found on our way to Brenda. Hey Emma, did you find Donkey? What's your name, Donkey? What's your name? Look what we found. A little tortoise. Well, we, Emma found it. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Hi, little tortoise. Hey, pretty. <laughs> Emma's not sure. <laughs> he's just eating something. No, he's not. He's waiting for us to go away. He's like, mm, I'm not sure about you guys. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We've got a local tortoise just in the middle of the village. Oh, sweet. We're in the middle of the town, village, just going for random walkies. We're going to actually go and buy some honey at the local store because I got a tip, a hot tip, that the honey is in from the local guy. So, come on, walkies. So we're going to go get this local honey. Let's see. Guess what I got? Honey! They've increased the price from 8 levs to 10 levs now. So inflation is here in the village. Instead of 4 euros, it's 5 euros for this amount of honey. And there, it's Emma. She's a spot in the distance because one, uh, it's very, very hot. And two, she's a smart dog. So she's like, okay, I'm going to speed up and get out of the sun. So yeah, she's clever. I am also walking a little bit faster. I got mulberries and I got courgette and I got cucumber and... Ah! <laughs> that was Ruddy and them. So they've just zoomed by. There's Emma. And all right, I am going to take the low road because I think there's more shade this way. No, there's no shade. There's no shade, Maya. There's no shade. <laughs> so just on the way home with Emma and I've spotted this tree, which is a fig tree, but they look yellow. So I'm not quite sure why they look yellow. Isn't that strange? I thought they are green and then they go like purple. Clearly I am learning new things. <laughs> Emma is so hot. So am I. It's really, really hot. It's like 32 degrees again today. It's a very hot place. So, so I hope these figs are okay. I was kind of hoping to pick some. So fingers crossed that this is normal. <laughs> that would be really great. All right, we're gonna go home now. Come on, Emma. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I guess she's staying there. Come on, Emma. Ah, oh, there she comes. Are we going home? Are we going home? Just passing this beautiful um, clematis. That's a clematis, that's a clematis, this is a clematis. This house is very nice. They did a lot of renovation works and clearly lots of garden work. So this wall here, it's gonna be full of clematis. Oh my gosh, I can just imagine how beautiful. So we're back here with Donkey. <laughs> Emma and Donkey. Oh, so cute. I wonder if they can be friends. Donkeys like having friends. I think they're social animals. So Donkey is hiding underneath massive fig tree. And I think Emma wanted to be in that shade. <laughs> but I wasn't quite sure if Donkey wanted to share. Yeah, so this fig tree doesn't actually have any fruit. Oh, how bizarre. No fruit on this fig tree. Well, it's another pity. So this is a nice little patch just next to my house, about two minutes walking. Found some nettles. That is fantastic. And look at this massive dandelion. That's beautiful. Beautiful. But I'm really happy to see some local nettles. You don't actually see too many of them around here, so it's definitely nice to spot them once in a while. Yeah, they've all gone to seed already. 
just got back from Brenda's and I brought her a tub like this with cherries in it and look what she sent back mulberries <laughs> so it was a little cherry mulberry exchange and she gave me cucumber and zucchini look her garden is already producing like amazing things mine are not quite there yet <laughs> uh, and this is going to be my, my smoothie tomorrow morning oh my goodness this looks so good this is what my zucchini is currently at so there's definitely no zucchinis coming about yet or courgettes um, and no cucumbers <laughs> shad is doing okay but very small so yeah also I definitely planted them way too close together because from what I saw Vrinda's is about triple this in size um, yeah I, I think maybe I planted mine too late and too close together mm, that's my thinking right now but otherwise everything else is coming along the watermelon over there is doing pretty good. Um, those little guys are really struggling. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if they're going to do anything much. Um, but tomatoes are coming. Tomato is looking very promising. So that's nice. And here are the other plants underneath the shade. Yeah, it's a big difference between sun and shade. So. Oh, they are so much happier underneath the shade cloth. This is one of the best decisions I've made so far. Uh, yeah, so it definitely saved a couple of their lives by doing this. Really, really happy about it. Basil is doing great. And um, there's some tomatoes and marigolds, tomato marigold. This is opal basil over there. Um, yeah, so these are now doing way, way, way better. The this here is sage. I hope, I hope, I hope this one's going to be okay. It doesn't look great right now. I'm just having lots of fingers crossed. Hey, Squeaky. Hello, Squeaky. <laughs> squeaky cat. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the raspberry will be okay, but only time will tell. And here we've got some more tomato. Um, some of these are plum, some are cherry. I don't know. Uh, we'll just see what comes up. And these are pumpkins. So I'm looking forward to pumpkins. That's going to be pretty great. Uh, this one, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm going to have to check with Ravit. I forgot. Also, it needs watering. <laughs> I also forgot what this one is over here. Also got this from Ravit. So I will have to check with her. This one is a pretty pink flower. So I think that one will be fine. I'm just worried about the sage. And this one's going to be fine as well. Um, this is the lettuce that tastes like it's infused with lemon. It's just got the most beautiful flavor. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Great. So uh, mint is doing great. Parsley and coriander. Parsley, coriander, mint and bellis. So they're all doing great. Oh, and that um, one over there, that's garlic. Um, so that's delicious. Okay, I am gonna do stuff. Okay, so it's day two of cleaning out this room. <sighs> there we go. Chaos room, woo. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what I'm gonna do now. I think it's around two o'clock or something. And I'm gonna pile it into this barn here. Kind of dark i'm not sure if you can see but there's a little bit of free space um there's a bit of free space here that looks packed but there's there's spaces there's spaces here and there <laughs> and if there's not then i'm gonna have to make space because this room needs to be cleaned yeah but i think it's manageable there's not that much left i think i actually got more than half yesterday i did a really good job <laughs> okay so, I'm gonna get going. I am exhausted. <laughs> Smudgy has been helping a little bit, but oh my god, that's a lot of work. So, the room looks a little bit different, maybe. I feel like I've done a lot, I'm really tired. <laughs> um, I think it's just exhausting because it's so much trash. It's, um, there were some mice got in here, so you can see, let's see if you can see it. 
there you can see some mice got in and just had a feast of whatever paper they could find um, and you can see down there something got completely squashed it's just a lot of broken things old clothing that is just gross stained blankets which might have been stained from there but who knows um i think that's why it's so exhausting it's just random rubbish this is a piece from a freezer and this is an old jumper and then there's hangers that look like that <laughs> so it's just a bunch of junk that's partially been chewed up by mice and soaked by the water leak that's gotten in here and good news it's raining Ta -da! beautiful beautiful rain um i sort of forgot to take that down and now it's too late so oh well but it smells so good it's um rain hitting hot earth it's it feels muggy like sticky but that could just be me because i've been <laughs> doing some manual labor <laughs> but anyway it feels nice it smells good i do feel like i am getting close though even though it still looks a little messy um that over there is a couch so that's a couch over there so it's only still one two three really big cloth bags with blankets in them that's a mattress and that's a couch and this back here is a really old television so that takes up a ton of space and once these big bulky things are out that back there is a cupboard um yeah once these bulky things are out i'll be done i'll be done i won't be able to move the couches of course not by myself but you know if there's only two couches left in this room i think i've done a pretty good job Really is here help me finish up so i finished i cleared the room it was just junk absolute junk um hey bailey yeah there's some really disgusting things in this i should empty that out there's still water in here from that leak it's a massive leak that filled up that bucket and oh just a bit of a nightmare this um anywho i have i have cleaned well not cleaned i've cleared the things out and um, I don't think there's much point in cleaning because the ceiling might very well come down so I'm not gonna clean um couches I don't know oh they are extremely uncomfortable okay <laughs> okay they are definitely trash oh why why such uncomfortable couches <laughs> they are terrible they need to be thrown out oh my goodness how can couches be that uncomfortable? Okay, so here is the trash. This is all trash. Absolute garbage. I just cannot believe how much stuff can actually be trash. I just, it's, you know, I just, <laughs> I'm speechless. It's just all trash. And it's going to the bin tomorrow because it's raining right now, so. Um, or maybe I can actually take some out now. I think it stopped raining. Yeah, okay, I'll take some now. Ta-da! This is the weather today. <laughs> it's very hot. Uh, it's still like 30 degrees, but now that it's raining, maybe 28 degrees. <laughs> Ta-da! Beautiful rain. It's actually very pleasant, nice warm rain. I like it. And also there's thunder. So that was thunder. Wow. Sun is shining, it's raining and thundering. So it's raining, raining, raining right now. And I decided to come and look at how it leaks into this room. And it looks like it's many little drops. Look at that. It looks like it's raining directly into the room. Oh, okay, okay, I see what's happening here, haha. 
Okay, so what's happening is it's basically dripping down from here. It's splashing onto there. There you can see it's splashing. And then the splash looks like it's raining directly onto there, but those are splashes, haha. <laughs> okay, so that's where it's raining in. Splash, splash, splash. Coming directly from above the window. Um, let me zoom out. So directly above there, that's where it's coming in. That is really bad. Hmm. Okay, here I am, back on the other side. Still raining a little bit, but also clear blue skies. <laughs> Just stopped. Just stopped raining. Still a couple of drops. A little waterfall coming down there. So yeah, that was a downfall for 10 minutes, 15 minutes of rain. And now we're back to sun. <laughs> I know I just said we're back to sun, but it would seem that is not the case. Well, I mean, it is sunny, but it is also rainy at the same time. 